Hello everyone and welcome to my coloring corner. Today is Friday, you know, my little spin on Friday, and it's Friday fun stuff. And I've been waiting for this and I know you guys have too, come on now. Uh, but first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw out this little reminder of a giveaway on my Collection Mania Monday video. I started a giveaway. There is a special little phrase that you have to watch for in the video uh, to win this wonderful book. Put that little phrase in the comment section and I will give you a number. We will be drawing for this book tomorrow during our Saturday color and chat. So that's my reminder for that. And I may uh, throw that out there as well at the end of the video. But we have a phenomenal set of colored pencils here. There's 200, 200 colored pencils here. I know I'm excited because 200 colored pencils and they're pretty. So I'm gonna slowly take this top off now. <laughs> I won't torture you. Um, these, to me, I call them the obos because that's what they, they have here. Um, on Amazon, they're called, they're called Fuyi, F-U-X-I, colored pencils. There's 200 colored pencils in this set. There are four trays of 50 beautiful pencils. And of course, they come with their own sharpener. And they're, they're wonderful. The color selection is just phenomenal. And with most colored pencils that are, come in a huge set like this, you would expect the bottom tray to be mostly metallics. And this bottom tray has no metallics. It has one, one metallic silver pencil. Kind of depressing to me because I would have liked to have had a gold too, but there is some golden colors and colors that you can use to make gold. So I am going to quickly um, do a swatch video. This is going to be a little bit longer than normal because there's 200 colored pencils. And of course, it took me a long, long time to swatch them. So I will not make you, of course, sit through a very, very, very long swatch. So I will, of course, speed that up for you, add a little bit of relaxing music, and you guys can watch the swatch. And I will be right back to talk to you about the swatch, the wonderful colors, and then maybe we'll do a speed color if, um, to show you how those colors lay down. And then of course we'll come back and we'll talk about how the colors laid down. All right guys, I shall be right back with these fantastic colored pencils.
Now, that wasn't too bad, was it? All right, so in the swatching of these colored pencils, they laid down beautifully on cardstock. Absolutely gorgeous on cardstock. There was a couple of scratchy ones, but I attribute that to the fact that I didn't sharpen them first because, well, you know me, I, I want to dive right in. So I didn't take my time and, and sharpen them. So you will see during the video as well as in the swatches themselves that there's a couple that are a bit, bit chunky, a bit scratchy. But look at all those colors. There's 150 here and then 50 more here. And it has a lovely selection. Not quite as many as I'd like in the yellows. Um, into the light oranges, into the skin tones, into the oranges. And of course, as you may have noticed during the swatch, there's all different ones that I put little X's on. And those are ones that I need to rearrange and readjust where I've put them because I put them in the wrong spot. So with that, um, of course, with any swatching, you go through it the first time, well, with any sorting, you go through, you put things where you think they're going to go, you swatch them out, you rearrange them, you swatch them again. And I will probably either swatch them again or put uh, a little arrow to wherever they, they ended up. <laughs> Whatever. Or I'll just go looking for that color number and I'll be fine. But look at all of these beautiful, beautiful colors. There are so many pretty colors. They have a phenomenal amount of greens. They have a great section of different aqua colors, both in the green blues as well as the blue greens. Um, oh, so many things I could say. Fantastic purples, absolutely beautiful purple section. And one of my favorite colors to use, of course, is red. And it has a lovely, wonderful section of red. There's not too many that look the same. However, for some reason, my camera is picking them up as um, being close to the same. Let's see if I can adjust that for you. I think it's just the light in the living room has gotten a little bit brighter today. So I'm just going to readjust that so it shows you a little bit better um, realistic color. So every once in a while, my, my camera will just do its own thing. And change things around on me. So that's more of a realistic color there. So as you can see, there's not a single one in here that is identical to the others. They are all individually numbered. They unfortunately are not named. That is my only pet peeve with them is they're not named, but they are numbered, which is helpful to me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very, very quick speed color with these. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about the pencils themselves, the cores, how I like coloring with them, and that sort of thing. And then we'll take a look at the barrels and all the rest of it. And maybe sharpen a couple and show you how well they sharpen. All right, guys, I shall be right back. I'm going to go through, I'm going to speed this coloring up and I'm going to put some music to it. Now this is a very new thing to me so I do apologize if it doesn't look right or if the camera's off or anything like that. So if you enjoy the speed coloring please leave me a comment in the about section below as well as um, you know if you don't like it. If you don't like it Tell me that as well, so that I know uh, for future times of, you know, that I need to go back to the original way that I was doing the reviews, which is just coloring a small picture and uh, talking you through it as I color them. So 
leave me a comment in the about section of this video as well as the about section of the alcohol marker video that is also coming out today because I did a speed color in that one as well. All right, guys, I shall be right back and we're going to take a look at the coloring and then we will take a look at these wonderful, wonderful pencils. Now, the book that I'm going to color in, just so you know, is called Garden Fairies, a grayscale coloring book featuring the early works of Molly Harrison. So I reviewed this book, I think it was day before yesterday, uh, in a bonus flip through. So I hope you enjoyed that and uh, I hope you enjoy the speed coloring. I shall be right back with that and we will take a look at it. All right guys, be right back. All right, so that wasn't so bad at all. Like I said, we colored in the Garden Fairies Grayscale Coloring Book. It is featuring the early works of Molly Harrison. And the picture that we colored, of course, is one of the first pictures in the book. Um, the skin tone colors that they have in the in the box are fantastic, even on this grayscale. So, the one thing I did find with them is they blend beautifully with not only with not only with the um, the blender pencil but with the white pencil in the box as well so the blender pencil that I use let's see if I can find it is the Caran um, blender stick and it worked beautifully on not only on this crepe paper but on the pencils as well so i didn't color the entire picture i just colored a few bits of it to give you an idea of the different colors and the way they lay down um, it would have taken me a whole lot longer if i had colored the entire picture <laughs> because i get very particular when it comes to colored pencils on on how it looks and and that sort of thing so the, the reds laid down beautifully. There's three different reds in the rows as well as in her outfit. And they all blended beautifully together and created a fantastic look. This is on crepe paper and I'm not used to coloring on crepe paper. So the fact that uh, I was able to eliminate uh, quite a bit of the white spot that drives me crazy on crepe paper, uh, 
create a, create a space, I think is what it's called. The Amazon paper that they print books on. Um, I have issues with it. <laughs> but like I said, they did do fantastic on the um, normal 65 pound cardstock. Now I'm going to just take this blender pencil and I'm going to wipe it off because I got a bit of green on it still. And I'm just going to blend uh, this blue here just to show you. And normally I don't blend my swatches. So, but just to show you how well that blends that white spot out. Now I'm going to switch on over to the other camera here so you can see it a little bit better and we'll choose another one as well that's really kind of splotchy. So I'm going to turn this light on. Maybe. There we go. And switch on over and we'll choose one that's a little splotchy. So let's choose this yeah, this one here. And we're just going to blend that out. And see how it just eliminates all that white spot. I love this blender. And it works really, really well on these pencils. These pencils are an oil-based pencil. And like I said, there are 200, 200 pencils in this in this batch of pencils box of pencils fantastic wonderful amount of pencils and i was really surprised on how smooth they go down um, even on amazon paper now you've got me uh, blending all my swatches i've got to stop because <laughs> i will blend them all so as you can see um they blended out really really well I was able to take that dark into a medium into the light same with here I was able to take that dark and blend it into that light to create a medium which is really really nice all right so we're going to leave that alone before I end up blending all of the swatches I'm going to switch you back over to the other camera here so we can take a look at the picture a little bit more. I'm going to leave that light on so that uh, when we do start looking at the pencils more, I can switch you back over and not have to fiddle with that camera too much. So as you can see on the Create Space paper, it did blend really well. I don't usually color in the book, so I ended up pressing a little bit too hard. So as you can see, there's an impression there. And that's just from me pressing too hard because the book is behind it. Um, during the coloring, you may have seen that there is um, a bit of dust. So make sure that you have your brush handy. They are very, very, very soft pencils. And they do lay down very soft. They're very smooth. But like I said, the one thing that uh, I did notice with them, and I'm going to show you here, uh, we're going to take a pinky color and show you how well they lay down. Hopefully I can get this pinky color to look, to show. I might have to get one of the darker colors. So it, they do sharpen quite nicely into a very, very good point. They are well centered. There is not very many of them that I have noticed that are not completely centered. So I'm gonna... So I'm just putting down a bit of color here very, very quickly. I'm not pressing really hard because, yeah, I learned my lesson on that. <laughs> and even on this Amazon paper, it's going down quite nicely and it's covering really, really well. Um, the one thing I would definitely suggest is if you're coloring in a coloring book uh, with these pencils that you um, find something hard to put behind the page, 
if you have a heavy hand because you will end up pressing too hard and um, mushing the tip of the pencil. They, the softness re reminds me quite a bit of just a bit firmer pencil than Prismas with just how, how easily they met, they, they mush down. Um, so I'm gonna show you here what I mean. on the tip of the pencil as soon as I'm done a little bit more coloring with it. Now I've only colored these little areas here and as you can see that tip that was nice and sharp is no longer sharp. I'm going to switch you over to the other camera here so you can see it a little bit better. So as you can see that really sharp tip that I had there is no longer really sharp it's quite dulled down and that's just the uh, way that these pencils are they are extremely soft so we're going to grab one that I haven't sharpened yet uh, and I'm going to make sure it's a nice dark color so that you can see it um, they come with a, a fairly blunt tip the wood is really nice it's not pitted in any way they are colored barrel so the color in the barrel on the barrel does match the color in the shaft quite well on some of the pencils there's a couple that you you think okay that's going to be this color and you try to color with it and, it and it's a different color so that is one of the reasons why i strongly suggest that people swatch their pencils because what's on the shaft is not always what's in the barrel Okay, so I'm, of course, I'm using the doll 133. And as you can see, it sharpened that pencil beautifully with no breakage, no chunking, nothing like that. It's very even all the way around, which tells me that, that it is definitely centered. Now they do have the cap on the end that I'm not fond of because I can't see if the pencil is centered. Um, but I can tell up here on the front if it is just by how much wood is coming up the sharpen. They are a high quality. They have the company name here. And I personally um, have them listed in my in my bag as Obos, uh, O-B-O-S. It could be Cabos or Cabos, um, but on Amazon, they are listed as Fuyi. F-U-X-I. Um, I may not ever refer to them again as Fuyi because it's not really something that I that rolls off my tongue. Neither does Abos, but you know, it's a little bit easier to remember than Fuyi. Uh, like I said, they are numbered. They have a wonderful numbering system here and they do look a lot like the uh, Faber Castells uh, in their in their quality of of lettering and that sort of thing um, they are I do believe believe a Japanese company um, not not sure what else I can say about them they are absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous pencils and for you know fifty dollars to get a 200 count of uh, colored pencils it's phenomenal now this one here as you can see looks to be a little bit off centered so I'm going to sharpen it and see if it is off centered a lot or if it's just the way that the the factory has sharpened it because sometimes they sharpen them on an angle and it's all machine done so it's in and out okay so i sharpened it and it's fairly centered it is off slightly you can tell by the wood that comes up there a little bit but it still gives you plenty of room on the tip to color with and that's all that really matters the ones i really 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 don't like are ones that are like this 
and hopefully it won't remain that way after I sharpen it, where the wood goes almost all the way to the tip and stays there. So we're going to sharpen this one and see if that wood stays there or if it's just the way that the factory sharpened it. And it's the way the factory sharpened it. So that wood didn't stay all the way up to the end of the sharpened tip. It's given me a good tip to color with and the wood isn't pitted. So fantastic quality for a budget friendly pencil. I have found that um, coloring with them is quite nice. Um, they are very, very soft. So make sure that you don't press too hard like me, because <laughs> I dulled down a few pencils doing this, doing this uh, coloring, so. And as you can see, the, the color goes down quite nicely. I am going in strokes because of the nature of the picture and the areas that I want the color to be in, so. Normally I would do a circular motion but because I am coloring an area that has strokes, I am going in strokes. And I love these pencils so much, I just can't stop coloring with them. And I really hate having works in progress. So <laughs> my brain is saying, finish it, finish it. But we're not going to finish it. Not, not today anyway. Not right now. <laughs> but as you can see with both the pink that I laid down before and with this yellow, now I am pressing a little bit hard because it's the darker areas and I want that color to show through on that grayscale. Another thing is remember that with coloring grayscale on this um, Amazon paper, you may find that the paper is a little bit rough and you can end up um, dulling your pencils because of that as well. So as you can see, just doing that small amount there has dulled the pencil down quite a bit. So they are really, really soft. And as you can tell with what's on the page, there isn't a lot of dust. There isn't a lot of, of rub off. Um, of course, keep your um, dust brush close because there are some of them that, especially if you press too hard, are going to give you a lot of dust off. Yes, I know I need to stop. I know. <laughs> but it, I, I got to finish what I wanted to do with this color. <laughs> And I'm doing it very loosely because uh, when I do finish it, I will be adding further color into it to cover up the darker, darker areas. Just putting in what I wanted in that yellow. So not a huge amount of dust. So I'm rubbing my hand across it. I'm not rubbing, you know, um, pigment all over the page. I'm not rubbing the pigment off on my hands. So they do stay down if you use a lighter pressure. If you use a really heavy pressure, you're going to end up with a, a very short pencil very quickly. So I'm gonna switch on over to the other camera and we're gonna take a look at these pencils themselves. The box, the website, um, Amazon website does show that these pencils should have two of these sharpeners, one here and one over here. However, I didn't get one over here. So I don't know if they've changed that or if, you know, they just missed putting one in my box. I don't care personally, it doesn't bother me at all and it won't ever, it won't make me send the pencils back because I don't use those sharpeners. They're good for something to use in a pinch, but I am horrible 
with hand sharpeners. I break pencils, I get mad, <laughs> that sort of thing. So I, I try to avoid hand sharpeners. These do have a um, blade with a screw. So if you do use this sharpener, you can probably replace that blade with another blade at some point. Now what else is in the box? There are four trays, each holding 50 pencils. And when you get the pencils, they will be all over the place. They, you will not get them in the order that you see them right now. Um, I have gone through and sorted and swatched and did all that fun stuff already. Um, I will, of course, post my swatches on the Facebook group. Of course, if you haven't joined us over on Facebook, please do so. Um, just fill out the application form. There's a few little questions that help us protect our members uh, from scammers and other people wanting to sell their wares to people who don't want to buy them. Um, they go from, in my set, they go from yellows to uh, creams, uh, creams to yellows to peachy colors, skin tones, oranges, pinks, reds, um, deep reds, purples, into the blues, into the blue greens, into the green blues, into the greens, and then into uh, browns and brown reds, and then into the grays. So, and then of course into the black. So as you can see here, I have the light ones here, which are blue greens, and then I've got light or yeah, blue greens. And then I've got light ones down here, which are green blues. So it goes from blue green and most of these here in this, this area right here are all aquatic colors, which are fantastic. I can never, never get enough of aquatic colors. And the brown selection in this set is is fantastic. Um, most times you'll get a lot of reds, a lot of, a lot of really um, light browns in your yellows. And of course I could have put these up in the yellow area. Um, if you want to take a look at the swatch. These ones here of course could have gone up into the yellows but I like to keep them with the browns because that's where I use them. So of course, when you do your swatch and when you do your sorting, uh, you may find that you want these ones here up in your yellows, as well as this one here, which is an olive green. It's a light olive green. And I personally would prefer it in the greens. I should have actually, should have actually asterisked that one and moved it up here with this one. I may have moved it, I'm not sure. And nope, I didn't, but that's okay. I will be moving it <laughs> when I put them in the bag. Now, of course, I will be putting these in a bag because I don't like these trays. Um, they're not bad trays. It's a great little box. It is a nice thick cardboard box. It's not horribly flexible. It's a really good thick cardboard box. But the trays are, they've got these little pinch areas here on the ends, which aren't all that that stable. And they're really, 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 really flexible. So when you put them in and they don't, they fit snug, like really snug in the box. So if you don't do it the right way, you can end up with your pencil trays not not sitting or seating properly in the box. And then you can pop your pencils out and the next tray that you put down isn't going to sit right and you push it down and then you've broken all the tips of your pencils. So I will of course be putting these in a pencil bag on my wonderful shelf with all the rest of my collection. Personally, I think these are fantastic. A wonderful, wonderful purchase. 
and a great bargain for 200 pencils at, I do believe it was uh, $49.99 for these pencils. And like I said, they are oil based. They are a gorgeous set of colors. And of course they do have um, a great soft feel to them. They're very, very smooth, very buttery, and they're really soft. Um, they do say that they are shock and fall resistant. So that tells me that they are probably glued all the way down the barrel which to me is phenomenal. There is no reviews on these pencils because like I said, when I got them, I was really surprised that I got them. They weren't supposed to be out until next month. So there's only six left in stock at this moment, but I've seen that said before and they had a lot more. So, <laughs> um, other than that, uh, yeah, for $49.99, a 200 set of pencils that are gorgeous. And they they just do what they're supposed to do. And that, to me, is phenomenal. Uh, yeah, it says that there's two small sharpen pencil sharpeners included in, inside for convenience. I only got one. That's the only, the only thing that uh, wasn't... Uh, the right way in the product description. It did not look like my, my product was used. It was well sealed and wrapped. I just think they missed putting a sharpener in. Not a big deal to me. Um, yeah, other than that, there's not anything else I can possibly say about these uh, pencils. Um, if you do decide to purchase them, uh, let me know what you think. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Of course, hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you enjoyed the, the speed color and that sort of thing. Um, of course, once again, these are the, the beautiful colors that are in the, in the set in the way that I have them set up in my, in my, my, color arrangement. So I have them yellow to peaches and skin tones into uh, pinky skin tones and the purpley gray skin tones uh, into pinks, reds, oranges, you know, purples, blues, and the phenomenal amount of greens. Like there are so many different greens in this set. I was really, really astounded by the amount of green and the fact that they're all all very different, um, you know, some of them look very close to the same thing. But if you look at them under a different light or or combined with uh, next to a different color, you find that uh, they're not the same at all. Like at a distance, these two here would look the same. However, this one has more yellow in it. You know, that sort of thing. It's got a really good variation of each color, which is wonderful. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the coloring and the swatching and the review on these wonderful 200 Fuyi colored pencils. I am, of course, going to list them in my set as Obos. <laughs> I may actually list them as Fu Yi now that I've said it a few times. As it rolls off the tongue a little bit easier. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know if you enjoyed the, uh, the speed coloring especially um, and the way that I did that. If you did enjoy doing, doing the speed color that way, I will continue to do it that way. Just let me know either which way, if you enjoyed it or if you didn't enjoy it, if you prefer to go back to coloring the small uh, little swatches that I color uh, with my reviews as I'm coloring them, talking to you as, the, as they're going along, or if you just like me to do the speed coloring and tell you how it went later. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Of course, like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell. Um, 
I do put out a video every day, sometimes two or three, depending upon the day and uh, what I have received in the mail and what is coming in and all that fun stuff. Tomorrow, of course, is the Saturday color and chat, and we will be coloring in this fantastic book, Fairy and Fantasy 2. I'm going to be using these pencils, so stay tuned. Um, also, if you don't remember from the start of the video, go back and watch the Monday, uh, Collection Mania Monday video. During that video, I leave a wonderful little phrase that needs to be typed into the chat, or not into the chat, into the comment section for this book to be given away. So in order to win this book, please do watch that uh, Collection Mania Monday video. Put the phrase in the comment section. I will leave you a number. And of course, we will do a random number poll tomorrow. And whoever's number is polled will win this book, whether they are there or not. I'd rather they be there. Of course, none of the uh, contests or draws on my giveaways, anything like that on my channel is supported or, or um put out by YouTube. They are 100% a part of my channel, nothing to do with YouTube. So just want to put that out there. There are some, in, there is some information and disclaimers in the about section below about um, contests on YouTube, as well as the rules and regulations on winning this wonderful book. Of course, it is only available to U.S. residents because of shipping uh, regulations and constraints at this time. And of course, you know, thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. I hope to see you tomorrow. If not, uh, and you win this book and you're not there tomorrow, just keep an eye on the comment that you made on Collection Mania Monday, and you will get an additional comment saying whether or not you won and congratulating you. Of course, I would rather you be there so I can congratulate you in person. But if you can't be there, you can't be there. Of course, life always comes first. Family and life always comes first. So, um, Remember to relax, color, and stay safe. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. You have a fantastic day. Bye-bye for now.